Okay. All right. Hello, everybody. This is Tiffany Sunshine Brown, and we are here on the private room live here at Halo Lounge. And before we get started finding out who the QC Silver Fox Squad is, I wanted to introduce you to our vendors and our sponsors here tonight. And we're going to start off with Gentleman's Maine. Please tell us who you are and tell us briefly about your, your business. Okay. My name is Phyllis Ramsey. I am a professional hairstylist, uh, licensed for 42 years. And last year I had this function to start this product. And um, God gave me this idea of Gentleman's Maine. Yeah. And I started this line because I noticed a lot of men, beards are not going into place these days, and a lot of men are wearing beards, but they need a product. Yes. So I'm here to educate them, <laughs> to tell them what they need. Guys, you got to, ladies, love a man with a well-groomed beard. Yes, I'm we sure. do. And when you see a man with a well-groomed beard, <laughs> it actually adds a lot of class, and it shows the gentleman and the man. Yeah. So. Yes. Come I visit my table there at the yes. Tiffany. I appreciate that because I love a beard, but it's nothing worse than a scraggly, dry <laughs> beard. No, that's not sexy at all. So, y'all got me so feeling some. Y'all got me feeling some. <laughs> <laughs> nothing sexy about a scraggly, uh, rough beard at all. So, tell us what is your best product? My best product. Your number my one best, product. My number one product is the beard growth oil, and I have two fragrances: it's amber sandalwood and cherry tobacco. Ooh. And cherry tobacco has really been a great seller. Sounds but like my it. favorite product is the apple shave lotion and the growth oil. Ooh. Okay. Okay. The growth oil. The product. My product is 100% all natural, made with cocoa butter, shea butter, jojoba oil, sunflower, sunflower seed oil. All the good stuff. Sounds like it. That sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much well, for being you. a sponsor and a vendor tonight. We appreciate you. And then we have the handsome gentleman right here. Where's your? I don't see. Where's your beard? I mean, I, <laughs> didn't, I didn't get the memo. <laughs> I didn't get the memo. I see the gray though. I I'm, see the gray. I mean, you know, I didn't get the memo. So I would have, three weeks. I mean, I could have had me a beard. Yeah. Okay. I got the memo. Okay. All right. So tell us, you're one of the sponsors tonight as well. Tell us what your company is. I'm Cedric Dunson. I'm brand owner of Fat Ash mm -hmm. out of Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, we do men and women's apparel, accessories, paraphernalia. I also manage a Facebook community of over 26,000 members worldwide. 26,000? Yeah, okay, 26, okay. Worldwide. And, uh, you know, we just do a prep with an ankle to apparel, events, uh, things of that nature. And we, we just try to support our local cigar in the ways and we give that to the community. Okay, I love it. I love it. So, I love a good cigar. Tell us, what's your favorite? What's your favorite cigar? The one I'm smoking right now. <laughs> Which one is that? <laughs> Whichever one I'm smoking at the time. How about that? Okay, got it, so, got it. Okay, what's your best seller then? Tell uh, us that. Well, our best seller, I mean, we do our GTO cigars. Okay. Those who know smoke GTO. Okay. And uh, called the Painkiller. Ooh. That's, that's probably our number one. The Painkiller. Yes. I, I need a little, need a little Because it, cause it kills your pain. Oh, it kills your pain. <laughs> I need that one. Okay. So you have to come on out and get it. It's All right. I'm, I'm, I'm getting old, so, you know, my bones. Oh, uh, no, no. You ain't getting old. You ain't getting old. <laughs> Just get a little more seasoned. That's all. Yes, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being sponsors and vendors tonight. I'm um, here for the QC Silver Fox uh, launch well, we here with you. the private room. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank we're you. glad we're here. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So make sure that you go follow them your social media. Yes. What's your social media? My social media, Jennifer Main. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Website, gentlemansmain.com. Thank you, gentlemen'smain.com and, and uh, www.fatashcollection.com website, uh, Fat Ash Collection on IG and Fat Ash on Facebook. Fat Ash Collection, and that's A S H y'all, not Fat <laughs> Ash with the S. Hey, okay. look, you, you almost said that too fast. You almost said that. <laughs> All right, well, thank y'all so much. I appreciate you for taking the time out for us. So we're gonna get this party started. Well, I think we already got started, but we're gonna talk to the QC Silver Fox. So we're gonna bring the founder to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, y'all. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is 
is this is your night. Oh, yes it is. I am I'm I'm loving it so far. Oh my. It is. It's our night. I like how you said that. I like how you said that. And you are definitely representing you got that silver beard. Mm. It's all nice and and manicured and all that good stuff. Okay, I don't want to get in trouble. I heard your wife was here. I heard she was here. Where's she at? Where's she at? She gonna she gonna get me. She gonna get me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. Well, I love the beard. I love it. It's it's a movement, okay? And I know that when the beards first came out, I was seeing a lot of our brothers, our kings, wearing the beards. But now you're seeing all cultures yeah. wearing beards. So tell us, for you, uh -huh. when did you start, when did you decide that you were just going to grow, grow your beard out? Well, honestly, you ready for this? Uh, yes, I'm ready. After, let's, let's after, after the pandemic, I woke up and Okay, okay. They Couldn't get to the barbershop. They, they were closed. They were closed. And okay. I woke up next to them. I'm like, wow. Her face is white. Yeah. Watch, I braced it. Okay. It's not going to die. Okay. Know? And I went out there and everybody said, man, I kind of like that band. Yeah. I said, really? Yeah. That's said, well, good. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so it when you started growing it, it was already gray. It was gray. Okay. It was awesome gray. Okay. And next thing I know, time and just. Oof, yeah, right yeah. So what made you decide to just start QC Silver Fox? What made you do that? Okay, you know, and I'm glad I have um, my buddy Curtis over there from Insight Magazine. Okay. I was um, brought to attention to um, shoot for a beard cover. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And it was being shot by Insight Magazine. Okay, okay. So I took the shots, they came to my place, and um, it was amazing. We did a lot of shots. Next thing I know, I was wondering when is this going to come out. Next right. thing I know, eight months later, bang, in the magazine. Wow. And the calls are coming in, the feedback was coming mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, then I, my buddy um, Kim, Kim Richardson at 105.3. Okay. She, that's my buddy. But I go around and do things Kim is there, and she was like, you know, you got that QC. You got that you got thing it. going. You got you that got thing it. going. Okay. I said, you know what, we are, we are a different brand, you know? And we represent Charlotte. Right. And you know, we're motivational, motivational mentors. Okay. So I think that makes a little bit different uh, from us just looking like good men. Right. But having a movement or something. Yes, so, I agree. You know, I agree. that really helps. Okay. And I like it. And it feels good. It does. It sounds really good. It sounds really good. So what are some of the passions in your community right now? What do the men like to do out in the community well, when you're giving back? Well, the feedback I'm getting back from a lot of men is like, yo, what are you putting on your beard? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, mm -hmm. what are you washing? What are you putting on? I said, I'm just washing. <laughs> <laughs> You're just washing? I'm just it. washing it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, right, yes, yeah. You want no gentleman's man? The gentleman's man? And yep, well, now I tried that. Yes, okay. And I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Oh, it gave, it gave me a little gloss. Okay, okay. Also, it smells amazing. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it gave it a pop. Okay. So I tried it. I'm loving it. Okay. So I'm Good. telling everyone, try it. Try it. Try, try it. gentlemen's man. Try it. You're gonna love it. Cause it'll give it it'll bring it out. Okay. And I don't know, but they saying, hey, keep that up. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Okay, okay. And I'm, and I'm honored to have my squad with me. Yes. And we're about to meet them. Yeah. We're That's about to bring them out right now. That's but I have a, a y'all being motivational, right? Mm -hmm. When y'all are out in the community, what is the message that you're giving to other men or boys? Um, to uplift themselves. Okay. Uplift themselves, be proud of who you are, and accept who you are. Right. You know, right. you don't have to change up. If you do what you want to do, mm -hmm. but be proud of yourself. Mm -hmm. right. You don't have to worry about mm -hmm. dying yourself to be said, oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Right. Man, be happy with you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And our kids need to hear that too. Yeah. Our kids need to know that it's okay to be themselves. Absolutely. Be I love yourself it. and you'll feel a whole lot better. Okay. You know? Okay. Well, we're about to bring the crew out, bring the squad. It's about to go down. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So I want you to stay here. Don't go no, nowhere. Like to hang out? Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to take my hat off. <laughs> I'm going to take my hat off. I'm about to get comfortable. Oh, yeah, right? yes. Please get comfortable. Please get comfortable. So we are going to call up Mr. Cliff Superman to the stage. Mr. Cliff, Mr. Cliff. We do. And regardless of what's going on, 
um, as I always say, they will always sell us everything, mm -hmm. but they will buy it. Yes, very true. So we have to support our Yes, I love that message. I love that. We're going to bring another, another squad out. We're going to have JC, the fly poet, come join us. <laughs> hello, 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 sir. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. How good. You doing? Well, I don't know if y'all know anything. Go right over Okay. I want to make sure we got everybody. Mm. All right. So if anybody knows anything about the QC, <laughs> they know about the Fly Poet. Am I correct? That's right. Yes, they do. So tell us, tell us about you for those that don't know, even though probably everybody does, but you know. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I'm JC, uh, Fly Poet. Everybody knows me, man. Poetry is what I've been doing for 25 years here in Charlotte, uh, hosting shows and concerts and curating and putting together poetry shows. So, um, and right now, pretty much, uh, we are all over the country. Charlotte, I mean, Charlotte really is, a, I would say, probably one of the most influential, influential cities when it comes to poetry. Mm. It's right here. Charlotte has the dopest poets, and uh, we do more work within the city, from the corporate to the hospitals to the children. Anything you can possibly think of, they use poetry um, as some sort of uh, healing or uh, even even just inspiring and empowering. So yeah. it's everywhere. Yes, yes. Poetry is, I know, was therapy and healing for me, you know, in school. Um, and there's so much um, talent out there in the Queen City. So. Mm -hmm. Um, what started you doing poetry yourself? Um, uh, everybody should have the same story. It's either it's heartbreak or in love. Okay. <laughs> One okay. of the two okay. is going to get you. Yeah. Um, I think it was a um, love started it off, and uh, of course, heartbreak always comes in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, to once I got more into wanting to perform it, uh, it was like the early um, early 2000s, and when I realized that there was really kind of no scene here in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Um, just a lot of poets, I just uh, decided I would just kind of get together and get people, to, instead of uh, everybody going separately, just kind of forming a unit. And uh, I knew we could kick down a whole bunch of doors together, mm -hmm. opposed to everybody trying to do something separately. And, so, and that's exactly what has happened. And now you're the home to the national champions four times. Four. Four times. Four times, y'all. Four times national champions, Charlotte, North Carolina, for the National Poetry Slam. So. Like I said, this city represents what? We don't give a hand. That deserves it. That deserves it. That deserves it. Um, yes, you've been very, very inspirational to a lot of poets in the area, and you are a national name. Um, so um, what else is it that you do otherwise in poetry? Um, I do a little bit of everything. Yes. <laughs> I do a little bit of everything, man. I mean, honestly, I, I, I host weddings. I host receptions. I um, I host concerts. I do. Uh, I curate, put together uh, weddings or shows. I can plan out your all, all your events, um, and I do a show every Thursday night in Tailored Smoke Cigar Lounge in Concord, and that's every Thursday, and it's right in Concord Mills. And the Saturdays we start up this month, so um, that's Tailored Smoke Uptown. So you can always get some good poetry, and we bring in national acts each week. So. Nice. I love Taylor Smoke. I'm a member there, the one in Concord, and like good cigar. So thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So we are going to bring up another handsome gentleman, Mr. Josh or Jay Pratt. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? How are you? Okay, I didn't got hot. I didn't got hot up in here. I got hot. I got warm. Okay. Um, so tell us, tell us about you. Tell us what you do. Tell us where we can find you and all that good stuff. Okay. Uh, once again, I go by the name of Jay Craig, uh, Joshua Davis, government name. Um, you can find me in and around the city, um, traveling around doing marketing promotions. Um, helping clients out with grassroots promotions, uh, help out with advertising. Um, I have over 25 years in radio and advertising in my background. So, uh, hence the fact I said that I've been stuck in my home, you know. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I like to build and move and build and move. So, um, for me, this is a beautiful thing. You can join in the QC Civil Fox, you know, it's about positivity. 
uh, you know, grown man stuff, you know. Um, and it's about giving back to the community, helping out, mentorship. Yeah, that's really important. I've, I'm really big on giving back to the community. I'm a domestic violence and um, mental health advocate myself. So what are what are y'all passionate about? What do you feel that the QC Silver Fox, when y'all go in the community, what are y'all passionate about? I think we're passionate about the community itself. Um, just uplifting the community, being positive representations of ourselves as individuals as well as as a group. Um, I think we want to inspire people. Um, I'm big, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur, so I'm big on following my dreams, you know, and I think everybody should follow their dreams. What, what is life without following your dreams, right? So, you know, I, I definitely challenge everybody out there, if you have a dream or a passion, anything that you're, you know, serious about, don't, don't let up. You know, it might take some time, but, you know, if you go hard and you have faith, and you have the right support system, anything's possible. So, and I'm living proof of that. Yes. Tell us about Rebel. I've been hearing a lot about it, so tell us about oh, it. Oh, I'd love to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me get my executive tip right now. <laughs> he um, <laughs> the so Oh, yeah, you know, thank you. I think it is. It's so, you know what I'm saying? Follow the step out of the step out. Right. <laughs> Not to mention, this is kind of a graduation. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of people around the city might know me from yeah. wearing ball caps and yeah. jeans and hoodies. So uh, this is an upgrade. Uh, you can see this. Look forward to this look a lot more often. Uh, well, um, I don't know about the rest of the ladies, but I'm definitely appreciating it. You appreciate this? Okay, well, thank I, you, man. I appreciate <laughs> you appreciating me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, it's graduation. Um, again, joining this group of gentlemen, you know, I know I had to set my game up as well. Make sure that I make it all make sense. I'm an executive now, you know, a business owner, multiple businesses, I have a staff that follows my lead, you know, I'm a father of uh, two young boys, so, you know, I got two young yeah, ones looking them. up to me, so I'm right. a role model myself, right. you know. Um, right. So this is me just reintroducing myself to the Queen City surrounding areas and just, you know, my followers out there, just to let them know, you know, we're, we're elevated, you know, things are going up. Yes. I, Follow the I love it. I love the elevation. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we are going to bring, last but not least, Mr. John J. Fiends. Come on down here. He's a well-trained barber, and he said that a well-trained barber can change more than just a hairstyle. They can change confidence and transform lives. John is always huge on being a part of the community. He is a big You had to make sure you came out stepping. <laughs> All right, so tell us about you. I'm just uh, much like these guys. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm self-motivated, and I just want. I'm a product of change, and I just tell anybody out there, like you said, follow your dreams. People can't destroy what they didn't build. Right. So, right, say that again. Say that again for the people in the back. People can't destroy what they didn't build. Right. right. People in the back. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. So I'm just, um, I'm just me. Okay. <laughs> I'm laid back. Okay. I'm a barber. I've been a barber for over 30 years. Um, I worked in CMS school system for about 10 years. Now I'm just following my passion. I'm a barber instructor now in Statesville, North Carolina. So did, I'm, did I just hear you open the school? Yes, yeah, we got Okay, a, tell us about it. We got a barber school for the youth, for juniors and seniors, uh, for State High School. And uh, this is the first time they've done something like this in our area. So these kids can come out and have a barber degree and still go to college. Nice. But at the same time, I tell them college isn't their only option. I mean, you know, learn how to be good one thing. Right. So if they can learn how to be good at a trade, they can still go in, go to college and still have to make an honest living. And have something to fall back on. This is it. Yeah. Um, I have a 16-year-old son, and he was going between college and going to trade school. And I told him to do what makes him happy, but trade school makes sense. He's, he's thought about, you know, welding and engineering and all those other kinds of things. Um, but I think he is going to go for trade and, and then go to school for business. So I'm very big on education. Very big on education. So where's your school at? In Statesville, North Carolina. In Statesville. All right. Can you tell us? Tell us what's the name? Is it? Is it open already? Yeah, it's Statesville. It? Bar, okay. Bar, bar, yeah. Okay. All right. It's at Statesville High School. Okay. All right. Nice. Nice. I'm sorry if I missed that. All right. So 
for all of you. And you said you're the rookie. Tell us why. <laughs> why are you the rookie? This is my first year. Okay. I've been a part of this group for like a, probably about a year, but I haven't been active. Okay. But now I'm active. Okay, got it. <laughs> Got it, got it. Well, this is I'm getting behind the scenes, but I mean, it's, it's <laughs> But you're gonna claim it. You're gonna claim Absolutely. it. You're the rookie. All right, all right. So, what do we have to look forward to? Well, we got. We look forward to um, traveling a little bit more, um, talking more to uh, people in the, in the community. Also, I'm um, talking about well, bringing people to be more proud of themselves are, and at the same time, we're willing to talk to people, anybody. You know, to make a difference. QC Super Fox is here for you. We're about, you know, motivating, inspiring others. We're also about uplifting people. And we, you know, it's also good to in the room with a change. So we're here for that. And I said no more. We're here. And we're not going to. Okay. All right. So y'all are here to stay. Y'all are doing things in the community. Y'all are making a difference. Y'all are um, empowering. Uh, youth and boys, you're also a, a, a role model for our Absolutely. youth. Absolutely. But then you also represent all of the men out we're, in the community. Absolutely, we're not just, absolutely. We're not just you know, targeting just kids. Mm -hmm. We're talking about older, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. some of them inspire as well. I right. want, I don't want to take pictures of these guys, with these guys. Mm -hmm. and when we walk, I can see the older men just saying, Hey, right. you know, and they check checking themselves and they smell it. Right. And it makes me feel good to look, see them feeling good because it makes them feel, hey, you know what, I feel yeah. good too. Yeah. And that's all right. Yeah. You know, that feels good. Yeah. So I'm glad to be a part of this key to the park. Yes, we are a branch of the motivation mentor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, y'all have heard it here. The QC Silver Fox uh, squad is here. They are here to stay. They got some great things going. Tell us what's your next event. Do you have any events coming up? Well, we, we got um, this 12 city tour that we're planning. Okay, can we get some of the cities? Well, well, you know. <laughs> I'm you talking know, about you know, okay. you know, and I'm working. Okay. Can't put it all out there. Okay. But we got a little tour that we put tonight. Okay. So okay. we can be able to reach out to all of us. Okay, can we at least know if we can look forward to the tour? Can we get that? Can we get a little bit? A little bit. Well, little bit. Little bit. well, yeah, you got to go online and check it out. Oh, you yes. me. Yeah, no. I'm told I can come to my office but I got to be on my I'm going to be safe this time. Okay. okay. All right. We don't want to get you in trouble. We don't want to get you in trouble. Okay. So, can you tell everybody how to find QC Silver Fox Alive? Well, you can go to QCSilverFox at gmail.com. Follow us on online, Facebook, Instagram. We do. Okay. All right. Well, here we are. QC Silver Fox Squad here in the private room. I like when they go. We about to party. I don't know where y'all at, but we still, we about to turn up. We about to turn up. Have a great night. Make sure that you go and follow them, QC Silver Fox, on Instagram, Facebook, and QCSilverFoxSquad.com. Make sure that you go and follow them. Check out these brothers, okay? Check out all these brothers. Have a good night. <laughs>